End of the year crime statistics include plenty of numbers and charts. The story they tell shows who is dying and who is killing, and it even shows why. But what council members want to know today is what can be done to reverse the trend and how the city can help. Local 12 News reporter Deborah Dixon was at City Hall for the questions and the answers. Law and public safety got the year in violence report. Of the 74 homicides last year, most of the victims were involved in gangs. The motive for the murders of six teenagers was drugs or revenge. Looking back at murder was also revealing. The fewest were in 2009 and 2012. Assistant Police Chief Dave Bailey says there's a reason for that. They followed big gang breakups by Cincinnati's initiative to reduce violence. It was the Taliban in Northside in 2008. Other gangs were taken out in 2011. We had similar initiatives in Walnut Hills and Avondale, which drastically reduced homicide rates in those two communities. So when you look at our lowest years, you can theorize that these focused investigations that are designed to go after those organized groups involved in the violence, uh, they do pay dividends. Serve the on again, off again anti gang initiative is on again, according to the police chief. And we have re energized and refocused that program and that initiative, and we expect it to uh, deliver results much like it did upon its inception. One shark grabbed committee chairman Chris Smitherman's attention, the one that shows who is dying and who is killing. Meaning black males 58. Talk me through no political correctness about those two charts. What it shows is most of the murder victims were black men killed by black men. Those two are exactly what every community in the United States is facing. The level of black on black crime is unacceptable. Chief Blackwell believes sustainable youth programs can help, such as Hoops for Hope a youth basketball program, and the God Squad, local ministers connecting with young people at city events. I think as we expand and grow and collaborate with our city's youth, uh, mostly in the inner city, we are going to reach out and touch some hearts. We're going to get in the way. We're going to provide mentorship. We're going to provide leadership. We're going to provide examples of what not to be. When Smitherman asked how council can help, the chief said another recruit class. It won't stop homicides, but it can improve the quality of life for Cincinnatians. What was interesting to me is uh, the motives for the murders when they're solved. Some you would expect drugs retaliation, yeah. but respect. Young people are killing people because in that thug world, it gets them respect. It gives them credibility. Carry and there that was, gun, be a member of that gang. Or, or if somebody's afraid of you, it gives you power. And, and there was a lot of talk today about how to get these children and help them find respect in a different place. Right. And doesn't some of the trend have to do with the change in leadership? I mean, I see well, the numbers and murders sure. going up as we change repeatedly. Well, like new chiefs. chiefs come in and they step back and they want to look at the programs and it's, and it, it's, it's not their program. What do they want to do? And what that does is give these gangs, gangs. time to regroup. Time. Yeah. And they can, it can happen so quickly. Okay, let's reverse that trend. That's what they're talking about. Keep our fingers crossed. Great, thanks, Deb.